the crouch button and keep it held to lie down! Why does this random medic have to school me on how to lie down on the dirt? Is this a video game tutorial or something? Boss, go! Yep, that's Venom Snake, the big random medic. He was always our best man and nurse. Consecutive! C! Q! C! Kaz, why is the FBI at our door? Snake, shoot at all those coconuts in case you forgot how to fire a gun. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. This was not a reference to portable ops. Maybe it was. I don't know. It's disputed. Actually, come to think of it, it is not a reference to portable ops. Before the events of Peace Walker, I met Snake in Colombia. In an incident unrelated to portable ops. Kojima stated on video that only parts of Portable Ops are canonical to the Metal Gear series. Besides, Portable Ops wasn't directed by Kojima-san, so he wouldn't let it slide in 100% into his own games. It is impossible for me to speak in a calm manner. George sampled my voice from the parts where I scream like a fiddle. He will need to do another sample for my nano-fiddled vocal cord parasites. George, please change my voice into a calmer tone. I am a calm and reasonable person. Hey, Huey, where are you going? Don't touch my hamburger snake. Put him on the boat right now. Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Holy mother of God. It's nude snake. They ain't at bringing nudes into Costa Rica. Holy mother of God, I no longer need to pay for Code Talkers Only fans. Good question. What Why are you talking here? about? I can't figure it out. Snake, I need more GMP, fuel, and common metal to make another mother base platform to accommodate that sauna I was talking about for us to bathe in together. Go out and abduct random soldiers. I will brainwash them into working for us for Monopoly money, a.k.a. GMP. The way Snake flicks this cigar up and down here is slightly suggestive of something. Wow, I completely forgot you can fire your gun from inside the box in this game. This is Democracy Manifest. Snake has never killed anyone, just like Kiryu Kazuma. Oh, besides the boss, of course. How did she ever survive that fall, even with the trees breaking some of it? Jack, you will never leave the past behind if you don't stop drinking my bath water and wearing my used panties as a bandana. What's it gonna be? Loyalty to your country, or to me? Finally, the drugs inside that cigar took effect. Ha ha ha, he will laugh. If he's about to sell out his compass... I have to search for Amanda's compass, but I'm gonna get lost on the way, so I need a compass to navigate to Amanda's compass. Now, in specially marked boxes of Miller's Maxios, you can have a chance to win your very own Theodore. While supplies last, Miller's Maxios part of this good breakfast. Batteries not included, some assembly required. Chico. Chico. Chico! Hey, Chico, you're not looking pretty thicko. You should go to Puerto Rico, dance to Despacito, and watch Boku no Pico. <laughs> Boss, you committed a mock execution against a miner in a war zone that was tortured ten minutes ago. Amazing mission complete. They're gonna tell stories about this one boss. At the Nuremberg Trials. What's that? Also, did you just kidnap a miner from a war zone without his consent to train him into your mercenary army? Amazing mission complete. Oh god, did you really just bring up the quietest Kiko thing? Here we go again. Chico is quiet, and quiet is Chico. We all are Chico and everyone is quiet, but quiet is Chico. Chico is thicko, and he will send you to Puerto Rico. You will be ashamed of your words and deeds. I sure hope those road kills don't count against my S rank. One hundred billion dollars! If I get up and hidden all over the world! Yep, I didn't cause these guys to die. Totally not. This reminds me, I like my women the way I like my coffee. Five a day, mixed with cream, and sourced from a country I helped turn into a war zone. Mother base is already jam-packed. Mother base is jam-packed. Please lay off the Fulton recoveries. Wait, what the why does it oh geez, it's someone's butt? Goodness, it really stinks. Mr. Kojima? Oh my god, Kaz, I just saw God before my eyes. Nobody is ever going to believe this. Kaz, now I, I, a true believer to our god, Kojima-sama, we are going to Kojima Church this Sunday, Kaz. <laughs> Huey has been pushed downstairs so many times in this series, I'm surprised he hasn't upgraded to tetraplegia by now. Snake, quickly steal all of those GPUs from Walmart. I want to set up a Bitcoin farm in China. Good. You get a free balloon trip for signing up. Enjoy it. You'll feel like a butterfly. Snake, be careful. This Fulton balloon shot could break Huey's spine and leave him disabled. Just an early opinion on this matter. We all hate Huey in this series, right? And justifiably so. But why? Why do we hate a fictional character? Because Kojima wrote Huey into this nasty character with sweaty armpits and a neck beard for MGS5. Here in Peace Walker, Huey doesn't show a single speck of traitorous tendencies. 
For MGS5, someone had to play the traitor for Kaz and the staff members to unleash their frustration upon. Huey just drew the short end of the stick. If anything, Kaz is the one that canonically has been acting behind Snake's back since Peace Walker. You know, on my first playthrough of MGSV, I half thought that Huey was actually innocent because of how Kaz and Ocelot were relentlessly abusing a crippled beta male just to vent their frustrations from nine years ago. I still do believe that Huey is a traitor, but I think he did not consciously betray Mother Base. This virgin was so blindly in lust for Strangelove that he ended up dooming MSF with his stupid decisions without ever realizing it. To end this, I still like how everyone hates Huey for the memes, and this hot take isn't going to change this in the slightest, but just having this knowledge in the back of our heads is alright enough. Now stop pissing yourself, Huey Pissy Piss Boy, and get in this boat. How can you do this? This helicopter boss battle is so annoying to get an S rank on. I swear that Chopper must be dropping like 20 guards into the map, and it only does it every like 3 minutes. My god, am I really gonna go through with this? See what I'm saying? Let's count how long I have to wait for before the next wave of guards. Cause I found a half-naked French woman in the woods. Is this the start of a badly scripted prono film? Here. Drink some of this. <laughs> Jesus, look how savagely she drank that liquid. This is indeed a porno film from the 70s. Huh? If Kojima had to, he would have turned Sile into the Huey of MGS5. Imagine Miller and Ocelot abusing Sile in that torture room, Jesus Christ. Huey, your stupid card isn't working. Oh no, Snake. Strangelove Vac banned me from the server. What the heck is a cockatoo? You're fired. Free. What the heck is this box made of? Cardboard? Actually, I'm not that good at speed running. I cannot see myself playing the same game several times a day to just shave off some seconds from my record, but I am willing to try on a casual basis. Hey, Karen, give me the crack cocaine. Sniff, sniff. <coughs> ah, yes, it's even Holy better than the one me and Campbell did back in Colombia. Don't you just love how I get stuck inside these pods like 10 times in a row, but Strange Love does that once and dies of asphyxiation? If I am going to be speedrunning, I will only be competing against myself and my past records. I have seen other people's speedruns of MGS3, and it makes me want to cry in the corner. I'm talking about a dude headshotting people across the map with the Mark 22 left and right using the fixed camera and no first-person view mode. Like taking down five dudes in a split second. There's no point in trying to compete against that. That dude just lives the way of the samurai. I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. I'm defecating in the Soviet Union, Jack. Endless land area to take a doom in peace. You know what? Let's read that nerd's love letter and AI dub it. Damn it! There's no copy pasta for this on Google Fine. I'll do it myself. Hey, long time no see, huh? Sorry for writing to you out of the blue like this. I was wondering whether that program I wrote was working or not. If it's not, I could always go over and fix it. If that's okay, of course. You know, make sure the program's feeling all right. Ear, I guess you wouldn't really say that a program has feelings, would you? Ha 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 ha. Sorry, I'm getting off track here. I wish you the best of luck with your research. Your dear friend, Huey. In retrospect, what I was trying to say was, I want to fuck you right in the pussy. She played me like a piano. Before we got fiddles, we got piano snake. Play me like a damn piano. But who among us, Millie, among us, among us, among us, among us. It's that the boss still lives inside of you. Bullshit. The boss still lives in your right arm, snake. Kojima Dunn did it again. Just a random thought, I haven't streamed Death Stranding since January 22nd. If we get at least a 70% I majority, I'll stream it this weekend. If not, I'll try again next month. I am the Beach Snake, the Princess Beach. I am fragile, but not so fragile. You know I think Kojima learned from his mistakes and put actual action into Death Stranding 2. Don't fuck with this, Senator. That guitar fight in the trailer has no counterpart in the first game whatsoever. The first game is just people yapping back and forth for 30 hours. I could ramble on about Death Stranding forever, but I think I'll save it for when I actually stream it again. I am the beach snake, the biggest bitch. Well, it's not looking so good for Kojima's first strand type game. I will try this again on the 1st of July, and if we get 70% majority, we will get to experience Kojima's latest masterpiece once again. After enough time, everyone's gotta get to start missing that wonderful Amazon Prime simulator. I will now conduct a social experiment and ask you guys if you want me to stream Metal Gear Solid 3 for the third time this week. Don't look too deeply into this, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. As the results speak for themselves, we now have a 85% majority voting for me to play MGS3 for the third time this week, as opposed to 66% for playing Death Stranding after six months. Jesus Christ. For the record, I love Death Stranding. Just not enough to play it on a regular basis. 
I don't think the game is made for everyone's taste. You have to approach it like it's a De Niro three-hour movie from the 90s. Overall, I just don't think it has great replayability. You know I read several comment sections on YouTube about this part, and it filtered a lot of people out of finishing the game. It's pretty hard to beat it with a DualShock 3. Imagine doing that with a PSP or PS Vita. I'm sure it's way more uncomfortable to get a good grip on it. Worst of it is that there's no accessibility setting for people who have slow fingers or even legit have a disability. Oh Kojima we aren't all supermen like you are. I could make a tier list for the hardest Metal Gear button mashing sections and this would be on number 3. No question. Right after the Solidus Choke and MGS1 torture on Extreme. More! Hate me. Hurt me more! Even six years later I still have to give my full effort to beat this torture scene. There's just no brakes on it. No lowering difficulty, no bullshit. Okay, just hear me out. I never was a big fan of tortures. But I must admit that there is something about strong women that can show their supremacy above men. <laughs> I am not a simp though. Torture seems so out of character for Strangelove considering she's a nerd AI programmer that loathes violence itself. Kojima just wanted a torture button mash for this scene but couldn't find anyone else to do it. Peace Walker better be part of the Master Collection's second volume. Most of the fun in this game is with the co-op shenanigans. Like you can legit make your four-man squad assemble together like Power Rangers to fire a man firing slingshot that deals nuclear damage. I was just trying to do another rules of nature moment, but the RNG gods weren't on my side today. Snake, wait, this is not a Skyrim horse. It can't climb up 90 degree surfaces, oh no. Now you are gonna have to shoot it to make a metaphor to the boss's death. Also, how the hell did this horse walk all the way from Tajikistan to London? Shut up, Kaz. I needed to sacrifice this horse just to see Peace Walker cross the lake into Nicaragua. It's not like it was gonna hide in a cave or something. Boss, you just killed the boss's horse for nothing? Amazing mission complete. That is why you are the best boss, the one and only. They akana tell stories to PETA about this boss. Boss, I managed to get in contact with someone at, at a Swedish company to take the horse's remains. I don't know why, but they are paying really well for it. It's gonna get us enough GMP to construct that sauna I was talking about so I can do unspeakable things to the girls in Mother Base. Yes, it's all canonical. Forget about selling the horse to Sweden Snake. The R&D team just developed a new procedure for manufacturing glue out of horses. It's gonna let me make my hamburgers at Miller's Maxi Buns more robust. They just keep falling apart at the customer's hands. Boss, forget about the oil rig mother base. I just sent out a strike team into a US aircraft carrier. They forgot the keys in the ignition and we sailed it back to mother base. On a side note, this soundtrack is legit one-to-one -one scale from a Spider-Man game I don't remember the name of. Now, I'm no video game director but I don't think this is the most fitting place to play Heaven's Divide. Yes, we just watched a war-torn 12-year-old boy storm a Soviet base in Nicaragua and kill people with an Alaska 47. This moment passes instantly, is completely normal, and nobody ever questions later if Chico is mentally fine after killing people. Solidus would be proud. Oh my god, someone quickly stop him before he enters the code. Stop him now. Oh god, no, I hate Japanese cinematography. It's like a turn-based RPG game. <sighs> Peas? As in rice and peas? Or piss your pants kind of peas? Or maybe the one piece? The one piece is real snake. <laughs> oh crap, I better run away to the middle of the New Mexico desert where the Soviets won't drop any nuclear warheads. I just have an RV. Gonna do some good chemistry there. Do something snake. 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 <laughs> Do something snake, do something snake, do something snake, do something snake. Do something snake, do something snake, do Room for one more? Yes, officer. This man right here, it was supposed to be me, not her. Now put me in the same jail cell as him, please. <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? Can't wait any longer. Hey, boss, nice bulge. You grew it yourself, bro. Those pecs are nice, too. Play me like a damn fiddle! I'm taking the weapon you built and using it to launch a nuclear strike on the east coast of the United States. Oh no, Snake. She's gonna nuke Florida. That's gonna delay GTA 6 for another 10 years, Snake. Stop her. <laughs> Great job, Snake. You saved Florida. Now only 15 more months to GTA 6. And then a eh, Belizean fisherman found Paz in the ocean and took her on on a trip to Belize. Just like Saul Goodman intended. I only like those who can stand on their own. If you fancy me, then come walk with me. This is literally what happens when my bro says the worst thing she can say is no. Who then? The Times. The New York Times hate us snake. They keep writing articles about us dissing our maxi buns hamburgers. 
No, no, yes, 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 yes. Yes, sir! No, sir! Yes, sir! No, sir! Ha! Not only Ocelot gets to have cryptic phone calls. She survived. She survived. Fire crackdowns are go! Move! Skullface in Ground Zeroes is so intimidating because of the mystery that surrounds him, but in the Phantom Pain, he gets reduced to a comedic villain straight out of a Disney cartoon. Damn snake! Nice dummy thick! Have you been working out again? Kept you waiting, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> so angry it was supposed to be me, not him. Go jump up against Atri, you imposter. That would explain everything. Are you kidding me? We gotta rewind this. It was dead center on his face. You know that Chico and Paz can actually talk to each other if you lie them down next to each other. I think I should try this, but it doesn't work so easily. Ever since the game came out, I refrained from using reflex mode. I viewed it as a hobbeginer's tool that only made the game easier and less fun, plus reducing your mission score. But over the last year, I have come around. The slow motion is badass and lets you pull off more daring moves, and doing a dive after firing a shot is super fun. This is literally the doctors at the labor clinic when the husband's credit card declines. Boss. It's a uh, boy snake. Oh god, I'm so happy. Another soldier for our warmongering business. <laughs> oh no, snake, they are playing us like a damn fiddle. Fiddle, 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 fiddle. They heard explosions. Play me snake. like a damn fiddle. <laughs> they played us like a damn fiddle! <laughs> Ten fiddles in the pussy made you an exploding pussy. And that right here is when everyone's balls froze solid blue back in March 2014. Have fun waiting for a year for the rest of the game, suckers. I'm afraid it's been nine years. On September 1st this year, I will go for it. I will fucking go for it. You ain't stopping Maine. I know I, I, a huge Metal Gear fan, so my opinion is gonna be biased. But nevertheless, I still think that these three Metal Gear Solid V trailers are the best in the industry's history. The GDC 2013 trailer, the 2013 Red Band trailer, and the 2014 Nuclear trailer. I have seen a hell of a lot of game trailers, but these ones are the best ever. Hands down, Kojima was really cooking 10 years ago, hot damn. What other trailers do you know what spawned so many memes back to back? And it's not a Kojima thing that happens every time. The rest of the trailers he made in his career don't come anywhere near to money. these. Why are we still here? Just a fiddle? Give it back, Snake. Give me back my fiddle. I'm gonna make you give it back to me. Fiddle!